What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about a topic that's been kind of, I guess, heating up in, in, in the community or the console community anyway over the last uh, several days, last couple weeks. And that is when is the next gen version of the Elder Scrolls Online coming to new gen consoles? Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the content, I'd appreciate a like. And check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. I have some uh, Imperial City Sewers gameplay in the background, kind of taking advantage of this mid-year mayhem event. I'm a horrible PvP player, but I do enjoy playing from time to time, so I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. But of course, with the Blackwood reveal, uh, you know, kind of giving us some information about what we can expect with all the changes in quarter one, of course the Blackwood DLC coming out in quarter two, a lot of people were hoping that, uh, you know, Zenimax will give us some information on exactly when the next gen version of the Elder Scrolls Online will be released. You know, that, that kind of upgraded version that's supposed to be out for Xbox Series S, Series X, and PS5. And Rich Lambert, of course, who is uh, the creative director at Zenimax, didn't really give us too much information. He just kind of hinted at the process for the next gen version is going as planned, you know, that was going really good. But he really didn't give us a time frame. He just said they're still working on it, which makes it sound like it's kind of at a place where they expected it to be, but they're not just ready to, you know, release exactly a date or a time frame just yet, which makes me think it's probably going to be quarter three or quarter four before the next gen version is released. So probably anywhere from the end of the summer to, you know, end of the year, you know, I, my, my speculation would be like August to maybe December is when we can expect it to be released on new gen console. Now, could it be released before then? Yes. Could it, be re could it be released after then? Of course. But from just kind of the, what he said or, or kind of the way he said it, that's just kind of the feeling I got. Now, of course, I know a lot of people are disappointed with this. A lot of people out there, uh, you know, are playing the old gen version on their new gen consoles. Personally, I'm still playing on the PS4. I've not been able to get my hands on a PS5 yet, uh, sadly. Still looking for one. Been looking for one for months. I feel like Sony just does not want to take my money. <laughs> but, but anyway, I feel like I've been trying to give Sony for month, uh, money for months, and they're just like, no, we don't want it. But um, just overall, from what I've heard from other players, that the new gen or you know the new gen consoles are not really running the old gen version of the game that well. I've heard a lot of people saying that it runs actually worse in their opinion. The other part of the community that has it says it's you know they might tell a little bit of a difference, but it's pretty much the same. So I think if you're on new gen, you're really looking forward. If you already have that new gen console, you're really looking forward to that next gen version of the game. Now, I'm not sure if Zenimax is just, you know, their thought process. I think which a lot of development teams right now's thought process is there's no need to be in a big hurry for this, you know, next gen version of this game, even if we're, you know, remastering it or, you know, kind of upgrading this to a new gen version or if we're making a brand new game for new gen because a lot of people out there still don't have new gen consoles whether they want an xbox series s series x a ps5 that they just don't have it you know they're, they're, they're it's not available yet and so i think a lot of these development teams are not in a massive hurry because of that uh, situation uh, i think if, if all of us already had new gen consoles you know everybody out there had already picked one up uh, i think a lot of these processes might be a little you know uh, i guess have a little bit more haste to them but I, I feel right now that a lot of them are just trying to get everything right for next gen uh, instead of pushing it out quickly, they're just kind of taking their time, like I said, because the majority of players uh, have not been able to pick one up yet if they have wanted one. Uh, so leave me a comment, guys, with your thoughts. Are you looking forward to that next-gen version of the Elder Scrolls Online? I'm really curious to see what it's going to look like whenever I can get my hands on a PS5, whenever the next-gen version is released. I want to see, you know, the difference in, in performance and, you know, the way it looks, that kind of thing, to see if it's closer to what we see on PC or, you know, if it's kind of a, or kind of be the same thing we have already on console. Like I said, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.